Now, this may be a highway, but this is a manifestation of whatever has been done thus far in Afghanistan. Entire infrastructure, healthcare, education, and otherwise has been in sham have been in shambles. And furthermore, the health conditions, as I have pointed out earlier, have been deteriorated. Deformed babies are born throughout the country. Cancer rates have gone up. Uh, so even though this is the periphery of Kabul, since there are two Afghanistans, one Kabul, one the rest of the country, you will see also in Kabul, the quote-unquote the, the, the quote, modern Afghanistan, it is also devoid of any infrastructure. Potholes are everywhere, streets are unpaved, and yes, sewage and uh, sewage system, in non system is non-existent. On this note, I'll pause here, and then when we get to a point to make another comment, we'll, we'll talk more. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Do you want to talk about the issues of the issues of the motor bus and the issues of the American and the American and the issues of the Kabul? Yes, yes. Do you want to talk about the issues of 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 the issues? Yes, yes. 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 This is called Chamani Huzuri, you know, where the, the national uh, celebrations or national uh, holidays are being celebrated, the military parades and so forth occur. Around here, you'll see nothing but total destruction, reminiscent of the past. But the billions of dollars that have really pa uh, changed hands simply changed hands. They have not been put to use in these desolate conditions, in these rebels, uh, exist people. They live within them, they barely survive. Most of them will die from the cold of the night. Some of them will live for a short time while others will suffer a long time uh, problems of various uh, uh, magnitude and proportions. Uh, the only thing this government is talking about is uh, uh, development, and their development, their definition of development is excessive traffic. There's nothing going on. There's nothing going on. Excessive traffic, excessive pollution, uranium contamination, and yes, zero infrastructure. There is absolutely no infrastructure. The condition is condition today when in fact is not that bad, quote unquote. When it rains, when it rains and, and there's a lot of dust, people barely can see the road. And a lot of children are being run over. There are children aged five, ten, three that are on the road selling chewing gum and others other things for uh, until midnight. And then they have to go for miles walking to their you know, to these rubbles where they exist, where they try to survive. So the legacy of reconstruction is hardly anything but bogus and waste of money, waste of resources, and absolutely uh, uh, miserable conditions for population. And to contrast this with the billions of dollars spent on, uh, you know, on, uh, you know, uh, self self-portrait of success, if you will, homes that are built in areas called Shirpur are absolutely inconceivable. What you have here is a contrast between the, between the very poor and the very, and the very few rich. So this is what you have, Afghanistan after democracy. Nothing but a total whitewash. Thank you. What do you want to do with the government? I don't want to do it. در بدر هستیم دو سال میشه که پدر و مادر ما سای بیرون است ما در جبه مقامت بودیم ما اسیر بندی بودیم سای در قندار ما سای دیگه پدر و مادر از طول دو سال ندیدیم ما سای به سرنوشت هستیم این میگه اولاده بیادر من بزرگیر است از خودم هم هست 
دیگه سعی کنید پدر و مادر یا ایران رفتن و امروز دقیقا را سعی نگاه کردن خدا و من ولی دمی خونک چی میکنه و بیاده بیده؟ این دمی خونک سعی مجبور از دمنون استبوت میکرم کل شاسر از سی و دو سر ایال من اون میدم قطی هم و خوشی و خسار هم بیایشون قطی هم نگاه کردن سعی چی کنم چی مجبوری از به خدا سعی کنید یا خو میگه یا خو میگه که به اصطلاح آزادی و آورد و دموکراسی و به مردم بسیار خدمت کرد کارا پیدا کرد ما خو کار نیست به ما خو بچان دیگه هم یک دست دیم که کار باشد ما هم کار ما پیش میبریم ما چی گو میخوریم مستری هستم دیگه هستم هم یک دستم خو کار کردم میتون از دیگهش اگر نمیتون دیگهش رو هم یک دستم هم کار کردم میتون بخصد اینجا خو پشت سر که شما میبینین که بنگلای بلکار دالر جور شده و اینجا شما از فقر از بیچارگی روز خود تیر می کنید اینه سایب اینه می روز مستایب اینه می روز در اول آماد را کمرا اینه می روز This is the contrast of reconstruction in Afghanistan On one hand you see the millions of dollars infrastructure I mean the homes and other furnishing if you will and on the other hand you see people dying of hunger trying to survive the sheer cold of Kabul in trying to feed their families. This is the legacy of reconstruction, and this is the tragedy of Afghanistan, what the U.S. is trying to portray to the world, that they have liberated Afghans from the misery. This is the example of Afghan misery, which is widespread. This is the very few, very few minute, very rich, that are not representing this country, but he is indeed a representative of an entire nation, because you see millions like him dying of hunger, disease, and other tragedies. This represents the legacy of reconstruction, and see if you can figure it out, there certainly is no liberation. Only liberation from life, probably. Thank you. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. This, is, this is a victim of uranium poisoning, depleted uranium, that the U.S. has used in Afghanistan, and thousands of babies are born in this condition. This is the liberation of the Afghan people. Babies dying of sheer deformation and congenital deformities. This is no democracy. This is a disaster upon our people. It has a half-life 4.5 billion years, and our children will be, will be suffering like this for generations to come. Again, look at this baby. Look at this tragic infant who had an enlarged uh, skull, and they thought they would fix him with surgery. This is the legacy of Hamid Karzai. Our children are born on daily basis with congenital deformities. And you call this reconstruction, liberation? Sure, liberation.